It's the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Richie, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their game? Never easy going to bed with the lead. And they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Wow, that was just striped. And let's see what he can do here today. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here on the first. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Yeah, 15 feet out. He's been staring this one down. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Oh, how about that one? Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Drive it out to the right-hand side to give yourself a good look at reaching this green in two. It came out of a cannon. Going for this green in two, Rich. It's an exciting but daunting task. The green is minuscule from back in the fairway. You know that you have a little bit room over to the left, but you're going to fall off into a low area. And if you miss it out to the right, you're going to find a very deep bunker on the right-hand side of the green. There's really no great miss around here, but if you're going to go for it, you have to know that your short game is going to bail you out no matter where you miss it. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. Come on, ball. Come on. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured, their rival will be looking over their shoulder. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Such a cool little par three. Love this green. There's a low section in the front and a high section in the back. And anytime they put the pin all the way in the back section of the screen, well, I tell you what, good luck on you. If you miss this green long and or left, that bunker sits some five feet below the surface of the green. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Ooh, right by the hole. Just a short putt remaining here. He's currently sitting in first place. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Just a small little twisty par four. Just gonna take out a fairway wood, find the fairway, and from there you're gonna have a small second shot, probably a wedge. Three distinct sections to this green, the front, the right, and the back left, and all of them have their difficulties when hitting your approach shot into them. However, in my mind's eye, if you find the fairway, you should have a decent look for birdie. No harm, no foul there with that shot. 
And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, this is straight back into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. Going for less club here. That was special. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. It's got a chance. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Still in the lead now after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par four, 471 yards from the back. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Playing this one about 130 yards out. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Oh, wonderful shot, and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Three feet to go here to the hole. This for a birdie, birdie run. Now two shots up after that one. We've arrived at a par four hole. I missed the tree. I thought that was a really cool feature of this hole. You had to flight it underneath the tree back in the day to find the fairway. The bunker down the left-hand side has been expanded quite a bit as the lake on the left-hand side has been added as well. The front part of this green is protected by tall palm trees that will certainly make you think on your second shots. This is a wonderful little par four. Fairways and greens, easy game, isn't it? Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This is a 12-footer here. It's on a great line. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. And as you can see, there's a long fairway bunker down the left-hand side that makes you believe there's more room left than you actually have. It's just not there. Players should be looking a little bit further right if you find the fairway, your second shot should be straightforward. In fact, Luke, I made a two here one time, so that shows you how simple this hole can be. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Oh, I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. And if they didn't have their rival Tony Finau's attention before, they certainly do now. What an approach shot. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Nice line. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person. Yeah. 
That's some good golf right there. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Has to putt this one downhill. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Leading by a couple after that hole. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Oh, look at that. You don't want that ball back. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Currently leading by two. <laughs> Outstanding shot, high quality. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. A great opportunity here. This for Eagle. What a putt, started this perfectly. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Could be some trying times indeed. Tough holes lay ahead, but yes, you're in the position that you want to be ahead of the pack. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And he's down there. Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Just three feet to the cup. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Welcome to this par five hole. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side, and you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave and you better know what you're doing because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Oh, that is bombed. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Looks to be going with a hybrid here.
I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. It was going to take a mighty wallop to get there, but in a good position. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And I like it. Two in a row. Our current leader is up by three shots. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Par 4 12th, a new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. I love seeing stuff like that. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. Oh, so close. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. This one's for birdie. And that's eight birdies today. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Time to play one of the one-shotters. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards from the back. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one. But watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult to two putt from there. Going with the eight on here. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Ooh, these are good for the momentum. These ones right on eight feet. to make for a birdie. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Time to face a par four. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're gonna be on top of a mound but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. Yeah, that one will play. Lining up from around 160 yards. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Chosen the pitching wedge here. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 11 feet from the cup. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. This really looks good. That's inside the range.
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Players do hit through a shoot off this tee shot, which makes it a little bit simpler, I believe, for the players. Bunker down the right-hand side is no good because you'll have trees blocking you out with your second shot. If you miss it left into the pine straw, now you've got some trees blocking you out there, so finding the fairway is imperative. This green is no fun. You find the center of the green, and you might be able to putt every single day, but in all reality, you have to find the correct section in order to give yourself the best look at making a putt. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. With just a small sliver of a lead, this could go any different direction down the stretch. Currently in first position. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. What a shot by our leader. Woo-wee. They show movies on flight shorter than that. Playing from around 190 yards out. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Nine feet to the cup. Their boldness paid off. They've got this for the eagle. Just didn't drop. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Nice stroke. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Now, two shots up after that one. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. When you play here in a practice round, it looks like you could just throw it on there. But when you're in a tournament round, it doesn't even look like it exists. It, the hole changes so much when the tournament starts. That's what I love about it. You just add 35,000 people who are having some fun and ready to heckle you if you knock it in the water. Eh, good luck. Enjoy. Those are the putts that sort out the great players from the good ones. Still in the lead now after that hole. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Par four, 462 yards, and you're going to find out what kind of player you are when you tee off here. How brave are you? How much do you trust your swing? If you find the fairway, that's a great start, but the second shot awaits. That's a good-looking shot there. Playing from 110 yards out. He leads the field by a stroke. 
Going with the 9-iron, I think. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, that was so close to going in. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Birdie at the last. And this putt for the tournament. Looking good. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, Rich, there's an opportunity that slides by. What a great effort in this one going to a playoff. Putting for a par here. And with that, Rich, this one's actually going to extra holes. Here we go, Rich. It's time for a playoff. And we'll be using the aggregate format for this one. Luke, in playoffs, anything can happen, my friend. Let's sit back and watch. Well, here we go, guys. The lowest score over this next series of holes wins the event. But if it's still tied, we go to sudden death. There's no room for error, though, Rich. Let's see who comes out on top. Let's get this playoff going. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. Well, it seems obvious. They really need to stick this one close if they want to have a chance. They have to expect their opponent to make that putt, Luke, so you have to take a chance and get it close. Wow. What a shot. And this part to take the lead in the playoff. Leading after one, Rich. We're on to the next hole. That's a nice position to be in with this aggregate playoff. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Well, this player had a par earlier on this hole in regulation. Look, not too sure that's going to be good enough in this playoff. Well, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. As so often the scene of all playoffs, let's head back to the 18th hole. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up from about 100 yards. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This putt? for him to win the event. Ooh. And now this to win the Players' Championship. Well, this has got an amazing ring to it. The Players' Champion. It is a title that any player would kill to have. And I have to say, this has been a killer afternoon. The amazing golf. The players firing it on all cylinders, going for everything they possibly could. I got to say, what a finish. What a champion. This will go down in history as one of the best players' championships ever.
Well, you love to see it, Rich. A hard-fought playoff battle, but the victory is theirs. All the hard work and composure totally pays off the thrilling playoff victory, Luke. Well, that should do it, folks. Hope you enjoyed our extra coverage in this week's playoff finale. From myself and all the dedicated, talented people at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.